Hey guys, I'm Shark, and in today's video, I'll be going over how to get to Diamond in just 3 hours with Fizz if you watch this video completely. I will be covering all the concepts on how to win every single laning phase consistently, how to close out games with your lead, when to recall in lane, and general tips for climbing. We will be covering every rank from Silver and Diamond with timestamps in the description below. Thanks for watching, and feel free to smash the like button if you enjoy or find it helpful, and subscribe to see more like this in the future. Hey! Oh, hey guys, I'm Shark. Um, yes, we are... Oh, the light's not bright enough. We are on the Silver section of the Climbing to Diamond with Fizz. Um, yeah. So th this is this is like where I, I think like silver, bronze, iron makes up like 50% of the community. I think it's even six of fat chunks. So the majority of people are here. Um, typically, I consider this rank as you don't need to be the best player. Obviously, you just need to do enough things correctly. Like Lux, I mean, she kind of is slow pushing the wave, but I mean, she, she's already messing up. She's not slow pushing. She's fast pushing. Um, Yeah. This is actually a pretty common matchup, believe it or not, especially after the buffs they gave to her a while back on the AP ratios. And typically, guess what I'm going to do? Simple, yet effective. Wait until level 3, long trader. Maybe look for the all-in. What did she take for secondary? Domination. She took a barrier, so going for the kill is going to be a little bit harder to do. Typically, if they take too much defense, you could just play for the 2v2s. We have Kane, which sucks. This is a fresh account. Oh, she missed the W. We just all right. She just used barrier. Nice. See, it's just you got to do enough things correctly. It's like silver three, so yeah, it's kind of the average. You got to do enough things correctly. She used her, yeah, she used her thingy. Wait, we'll just go back onto her. Didn't expect this to queue there. It's like she's tripping over her feet, and I'm just, I'm doing the simple stuff. I'm about to win this landing phase. Like, I, I, yeah, I'm surprised her f farm count's pretty high. One more auto plus ignite, and look at that. Simple stuff. It's the basics, and you will climb. It, it's just like that. Just do that. No, I know it's harder said than done. I've, I was once hard stuck in iron four. Well, it, Back in the day, we didn't have iron. We had bronze four, not bronze five. Bronze? No, no, it was bronze five. Then they only made four divisions. Um, yeah. So I, I was literally the worst at the game. It was reverse challenger. Basically, what I mean by that is I was playing with the same players since I was at the bottom. So it was basically challenger, except I was at the worst of the worst. That, that was a pretty interesting experience. I don't know how I had fun with the game with a 23% win rate with 200 games in the lowest rank, but don't feel bad. And to be fair, I did play the game for fun. It was all fun in games in season five before it turned into a crippling uh, addiction of playing League of Legends and always being tilted 20. Oh, that, that's a pretty good flash. Yeah. Always being tilted 24-7. But still playing because what else is there to do besides play League of Legends? I'm a League player, by the way. Yep. That's what we do. And now, yeah. Simple stuff. You just E onto them. It's basically just dash onto them and burst them. Zach. Uh, he's going to just clear it. It was worth when I killed her, the first kill, because I stacked the wave, so she lost all the waves. Now I'm close to level 6, and she's just beginning level 4. Man, good times. Back in the day, I used to play like 20 games, though. It was ridiculous. I used to play like 14 days, 14 games, 220, 14 to 20 games a day. Heart stuck, bronze, which again is like... Uh, more closer to iron. I mean, I enjoyed myself with a 33% win rate, 32. Might have even went to the 20s when I was new, new. Like, new, like really new to the game. 
Yeah, it's just burst. Small burst trade into all in. That's the formula at level six. It's with all assassins. Sharker. Wait for the Q. And then look. Just get a kill. It, it's it's the game is fun when you just when you just enjoy. Like this, this is the majority of players here anyways. You just kind of enjoy the game. Well, I okay, I was frustrated at times. Yeah, I hated I hate losing so much. If you lose lane, it's just so bad. Like if I was Lux and it was me back then, I'd probably ult F4 by now. But that's besides the point. Yeah, it's like um typically Yeah, mental mental state is just crazy. I'll go lucidity. Movement speed helps. Level four to level seven. Uh yeah, this game is really frustrating. Even though I was trying to have fun, I, I just had fun playing multiple picks. Just enjoying the game, really. And then it's when it's when you have it's called it is ego it's when that fills you when the game turns from just having fun with fun builds and such right that's fun fun builds fun champions new champions new roles you, you're experimenting that's fun it's when you think you're better than the rank you're at i thought i was better than the bronze players i was playing with like hardcore it's like they would die and you think you just know everything you're like this guy's so bad even though you do the same because we all do the same all right well shark i think she's scripting most of the times i would hit that note this in master challenger they dodge different compared to silver so lux is basically scripting me because the way she dodges the wow you're why am I? Hey, is that? Nah, you're very good, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of griefed that. True. That just hovered me for so long. I don't care. I don't care. Wait, what? Oh, Kane just executed. And what does this guy say? <laughs> I think this was because of drag. This is just so like, why? Why? Usually, I just mute all. These clowns, it's clown fiesta. Honestly, I just mute all every rank. I'll do the same. I, I just every every time just mute all. These clowns. Yes. You can have ego. Everyone has ego, but don't flame back. Don't call them dog because these people, these people, all ranks, they're dogs. You know what I'm saying? Just mute them and just think to your mind. I can't talk to these people because they're such dogs. You know, they're holding me back. Me. That's what you gotta think. Don't. Oh, I can't steal it. Put a deep ward. Might just start roaming. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. A shove and wave. A shove and wave. That's kind of how you play Fizz. Shove and roam. So, it's okay. You already got the kill. Good job. Good job, mate. Did we get drag? We did. All right. It's, I mean, that's pretty good. I feel like Zach is hovering. Yep. So cringe. I, I already knew it. I don't know why he's camping me so hard. Like hard. Like I can't even. I like. I would literally shark all in her. I don't know where Zach is. Where is he? Watch, I'm gonna all in and he's gonna be there. Huh. Flash. I don't know if Zach's at Raptors, that's why. Flash, no flash. Uh, it's like I'm playing 2v1 here. It's insane. Zach's smart though. Camping the Fed Assassin who's always trying to make plays. 
Oh, found him on a ward. Don't know what's going on there. Don't care. I'm just gonna base. Probably would have gotten a kill. I'm beating this. This is yeah. I'm beating Lux and CS. So I mean, in the end, it kind of is what it is. We got Camille top lane. In theory, she should split push the victory. Make it a four v four, or uh, what is it? Like a three v four. Because she should drag someone top lane like Zach and Darius have to fight the Camille, and then we'll, we'll win because of man advantage. But you can't rely on anyone in the lower ranks. Like they're just obviously going to throw their lead, so don't don't I guess don't plan for that. You actually just like if you, you say it's so easy, the jungler should land smite. Don't don't expect it, buddy. Arctur. Should be a kill. Man. This Zach is on my nuts, man. It's very cringe. I don't know why. I didn't do anything. I didn't BM in all chat or none of that. This is an easy win. Easy win. These people are griefing me, man. Oh, man. No, they, they, okay, I'm not expecting a lot from them. I'm not, I'm not expecting a lot from them, TBH. That was the freest thing I've seen in my life. Do you not have triumphed? Oh, you don't. But I think that's normal. Uh, is that cracked or something? What is this? This guy has the fruit to take. What is this guy do? <laughs> all right, it's all good. Camille can 1v, uh, 1v1 that. Bro. What is this guy do? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I mean, like, he's muted already. Like, yeah, it's just. <laughs> hey, you can do him. Wave a shove. So I'm gonna look for the roam bot here. Maybe I should get sweeper, but oh no, should be a free low kill. Was it warded? It's hit or miss when they ward or not. Oh, I, I missed a shark. I'm really bad. Need my cooldowns back up. Shut down, shut down. Seven and two. Every time the wave is shoved. Why is Kane taking the farm? He didn't even help. It's Kane something else. It's okay. I'll carry him. Tower platings are down soon. Uh, he should clear mid. Why did he clear bot? Oh, that would have been so massive for him. I mean, it's whatever. He doesn't know how to path correctly. Why would he? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Still, still normal form at 14. Oof. Now he's just mid. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's gonna crash under tower, and that's good because it'll bounce back. That's a good, good play. Just came mid at the wrong time though, and then Yumi's ah, uh, you know that makes sense. I feel like Yumi should just go onto me. Like, is it better if Yumi goes onto one of us? Because we're we're trying to one v nine. And that, that's like the, the, the pro of playing Fizz. You just get those one shots in. From 100 to 0. And we'll just play strong side. So we'll just keep camping top lane. Zach stopped me from going 12 and 0. But uh, yeah, we'll look for the dive top. We'll just play for strong side and then we'll win through that. Because bot lane got behind, so you just gotta play for whoever's strong. Look for it. <sighs> Come on. Nah, it's fine. Like top tower. It's only bot lane. And as long as me and Camille are fed, we can uh 
We'll take care of them. Mark Gordon. That would suck if I uh, didn't. See, look, I made a shot. I'm surprised. I made a shot called, and Yumi actually listened. Most of the times, they just don't listen. They kind of... They just don't listen. They don't even listen to pinks. So you kind of just have to take matters into your own hands. Um, I guess it's region. Regional thing. Too. Like the... the I, I played on a fresh count on LAN. Those players are just something else. Like they don't know the simplest things. They don't know the simplest things. Maybe I can help here. There we go. Like, it's rough. It is rough. Like, 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 like pings, I mean. Like, back off. They're getting ganked. You're getting ganked. Okay, you know what? I shouldn't say that. Because, like, that happens in all ranks. I'm generalizing too much. One shot. Is this E range that long? Oh, I thought I scripted that. Oofers. Oofers. Yumi? Just flash over this. He's gonna flash onto me. Kane doesn't have form, and it's 17 minutes. Holy! <laughs> Woo! I'm not gonna talk about that. Hey. He's just... He's struggling. He's struggling. Maybe he's just waiting for blue form. Ah, uh, I muted him. I can't type how long until blue form. Oh, there he is. 18 minutes. Dusk blade. That is the... Yeah, it's probably terrible. You probably should go gore drinker. Yeah. You probably should go gore drinker. It would probably help more. Unless he was like 10 and 0 by now. It's just, it's better to go gore drinker. But I mean, I'm not going to type that to him. He's just going to be like, you're wrong. You know what? I am wrong. Oh, I should have. Uh... I'm trying to shark the back line. Yeah, we'll get this dude. Nice. Getting them left and right. I mean, that's kind of the environment in these games. It's just hectic. Do I have all chat enabled? I want to see them flame each other. Come on. I remember this rank being more like, uh... Report Lux! She went 1 and 9. Report Darius. He's basically trolling for going 0 and 5. I remember it being a lot more toxic. I guess we live in a different... No, we don't live in a different system. We're playing League of Legends. Everyone's toxic. Everyone. I'm gonna get the Darius here. He has no MR, so we can just one-shot him. Unless he scripts my shark, which he does not. 100 gold. Wow. I'd rather farm a wave instead of farm him. I mean, yeah, it's the mid game. When you're ahead on fish, just start looking for picks. Run around, get picks. It works every time. I mean, it's a we're playing an assassin here, so I mean that's literally kind of the goal. I might just get magi. It's why not. Typically, I hold off. Hold off on magi's and like get lich bane. I think we'll stack it pretty uh. Pretty well. Yumi needs to go on me. I want to be a strong champion like Camille. Just kidding. I'm a team player. I don't mind. Oh, we just we farmed her like a minion. If 
14 stacks on Medjice. Sack was a pain this game. Holy. Respects. 1 in 10 lux. He is not a happy camper. Come on, Kane. You can 1v1 Darius. He's 0 and 9. Come on, Kane. Wow. You actually got 1v1 by... Look at this goofy. Look at this goofy goober. At least he reset his gold bounty. This is fun. Like, it, everything's chaotic, and that's kind of what Fizz wants. And then in higher ranks, the reason why it sucks more is because the lane, the laners they pick kind of suck because it's like Silas. It's picks that kind of counter Fizz in a way. Or it used to be a lot more meta. But with Sand, Locket, Immortal Shield Bow, that meta is really killer. And everything's more structured based off of win conditions. They know Fizz, if he gets two kills early, will play for Shield Bow and Locket. And yeah, it's a, a different game there. But anywhere below, like, honestly, it's like Diamond 2 is where it starts. It's a, it's a fiesta for Assassins. And they could just sweep. There's no structure. It's just fights. And action. You know? Oh. You got that, Kane? Definitely. We get movement speed from Magi, so I like it. She's probably going mid. Oh. Up oh, and they forfeit. Yep, that's the silver section. I'm out. Hey guys, I'm Shark back with the gold section of the three hour climbing to diamond series. In this lane, we're playing against Zyra, pretty medium difficulty matchup. And I mean, yeah, typically, I want to say this is where I think the majority of the community is, something like that. The percentage showed like 12% of the community in total is gold four so i think like that's the average used to be silver four but i think that now is 10 percent weirdly enough so whenever they added the new ranks like grandmaster and iron things uh fluctuated but yeah typically i want to say i feel like the problem here is most of the times is the sound on all right it's usually just the mid game. It's people getting caught back and forward, and uh, yeah, it's all it's a literal throw fiesta. I feel like the early to mid game, you know, there could be stuff that could be done better, but it is typically all right. This is just a throw, I just hard win level three. I just, <laughs> I just hard win level three. Kind of a grief, but <laughs> I'm not expecting too much. That's a, that's a, that's a pretty crazy counter jungle. Not gonna lie. But yeah, against these mages, you just destroy them, especially after the buffs to Fizz's pre five. It was a minor buff. It was. He takes less damage from autos and then a little W increase on the damage. But yeah, most of the time against these mages, you hit, hit level three and cheese him. Did not expect Trundle to go for that invade though. That most players would just AFK full clear. Didn't know this was Korean Challenger. I'm just going to trade. She's not walking back at all. Oh, she's dead again. We just... <laughs> we just queue on to her, man. Yeah, that tether range.
That is uh, very unfortunate for her, I guess. She's probably spam pinging her jungler, to be honest. Oh, what is going on? I probably can't win this. That's the thing. Maybe I'll go for the burst. Oh, this is doomed. Uh, you know what? Yeah, no, I couldn't. Don't do it to me! Alright. That's what I'm talking about, Volley. Volley coming through. Good stuff, good stuff. She got boots. I mean, that's not that bad. She probably couldn't even get like Dark Seal with the lack of gold. But if it was a champion, it's usually bruisers. It's when bruisers get ahead, they're busted. Like Trundle. And to top that and to top that off. They have Yumi. Hit level six shark. This is just fun. <laughs> I yeah, I guess those are like mage lanes in general. Oh my bad if you hear the water running. Currently the toilets being flushed. But yeah, Vane counters Ezreal late game. I don't think you can play for objectives like that since I mean, I still think this is kind of the rank where it's still kind of like a fiesta. You know what I'm saying? It's still a fiesta. Like, all right, sure. Vein skills late game, but she's always going to get caught. See what I'm saying? Like, sure, there are scaling and stuff, but like people usually don't execute on it. Know what I'm saying? See, I'm just going to go the... Probably better to go like this. No go the full burst build. I mean, even post nerf, it's it's a nerf post six definitely for your burst. I mean, yeah, it, this is damage still nutty. I don't even think you can you can hear the uh, background noise. I have a noise compressor. Is that what it's called? It's the one where it takes off background noise. Comment below if you hear it. It's subtle. I'm just gonna. I probably should roam. Typically now, killing my laner over and over is kind of useless. I'm gonna kill her one more time and then start roaming. I'm beating her on CS too. I'm gonna start roaming now. No, I can't. Man, it's the Yumi Trundle, I'm telling you. That's gonna be killer. She's getting out of shark range. Or is she? I have to get the one shot off before I get eat under tower and then yep, Trundle. This cringe player. Oh, he's going this like forbidden tech. This guy's getting lethality. Never seen this before. <laughs> He's inventing something new. What? Oh, this <laughs> it actually works. Checking your stuff. 400 games G4. He goes Dark Harvest, Ignite Smite, Immortal Shield Bow. It actually works. Like, he's... <laughs> He's smurfing with this. What? <laughs> Most of them go divine sooner, but oh man, this guy's breaking the meta. <laughs> Pansar Dragon needs to make a report on this. He has officially broken the game. All right, yeah, it was kind of obvious. Steal, steal. 
One second. You know what's funny? I think this is actually doomed. Like, no troll. I don't even have R. So it's doomed. Uh, oh. <laughs> Typical. Look at these dogs. Like I just said. You gotta mute them all. Every time. I don't know what they're talking about. Alright, maybe I could be there to stop the dive. But like. Oh. Too busy with, the, with this guy trying to type to me. Alright, we'll, we'll uh, shut him down here. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Can't believe it. Oh, my shark actually hit Trundle. That's a massive shutdown. Bro, that shark was just game-changing, really. Nice. Nice. Well played, everyone. <laughs> well played. Yeah, I could have reacted quicker, definitely. I could have stopped the dive. Again, typically it's a throw fiesta back and forward. Or at least from what I've seen. Like, the early game, it'll be close. Even if the score is like 14-3, they don't know how to like... Okay, I guess stacking drags, yes. But counter jungling... It's that next level, you know, counter jungling... Power diving with three stacked waves that just doesn't happen. So typically, I mean, the early game matters, but I feel like the mid game here kind of is the winning factor, at least from my experience. And it's team fighting because nine times out of ten, most people don't do it right. <laughs> like they focus the tank at the wrong time or they just completely miss the shark and E onto the back line. So, I mean... That's that. Let's see? About a Q shark. This guy's uh, kill gold currently has reset. I'm waiting for my. Uh, yeah. Waiting for my Q to come back up for the combo. 35 CS. Massive. It's all about stacking waves and diving on Fizz. In these mage matchups. Honestly, even in assassins, if you're ahead enough. This dude. I'm excited. Most people just... They just do what's meta. That's boring. That's boring. I'm here to see some Dark Harvest, Immortal Shield Bar Rush, Trundle. And honestly, Zyra mid's uncommon. We're seeing it today. I'll go stopwatch, why not? Oh, Vayne with the outscale? Nope, Yumi always wins 1v1s. It's over. It's raid boss Yumi. <laughs> it's... I mean, it's pretty close, I guess. As real, Yumi's winning early. Mid games where I feel like they have their spike. See if we can Q Shark. They never expect it. It's too quick. I mean, I do have stopwatch. I'll save it. The Q Shark. If you master the Q Shark, they just always die. Q mid animation shark. Oh, yes. We're playing topside. Interesting. Most of the times, even Diamond Plus, top lane's its own island. But, I'm talking like D4 to D2. D2 is where then jungler starts to play for topside more. Like now, placing rift and diving, but. Ah, uh, it's interesting. That's actually pretty good macro. Not going to lie. What I'm wondering is how does Zyra have less farm than their jungler? My jungler, too. Ah, uh, it's probably because of the stacked waves. Oh, what? I think the tower is hacking. There's no way it should have hit me. Okay, so... Don't take my gold. Don't take my... <laughs> you just took my gold. 
That's fine. I'm getting a solo gold lead to hopefully just one shot their back line. I'm playing for myself for now. Nope. Let's ignore that. I mean, late game, if we focus Trundle, Vayne's the reason why. That's sad. Vayne's the reason why Trundle could be not so much of a problem. We just play front to back. Let's go like this. And the uh, Ignite. My guy has 42 C 43 CS. Yeah. Alright, I have to start roaming now, I guess. You are TP'd. Oh, this is tragic. Rookie mistake. Actually, rookie mistake. I was panning my camera bot and wasn't focused on me. But yeah, right now, because of level gap... Bot lane's one shotable, but as they turn like level 11, it's the exhaust too. That's gonna kill me. I have to time my E perfectly. Then it's likely depends on how the vein's doing too. Playing front to back is something I feel like you don't even have to do at this rating. Yeah, front to back. Where you auto the tank first since your ADC is the one who's fed. And you play for peeling for your ADC. I feel like typically all you have to do here is just steamroll their backline with your burst. Since you should be getting ahead like this every game, right? At least in my opinion. Oh, wait. This is not good. It's Yumi Ezreal. They're like the most... Let's see if we can... Oh, <laughs> they're cheating. They're cheating, guys. They're cheating, everyone. Why? Why is... Why is Fiora... Oh, no, that's actually really smart. Fiora's bot lane. Talk about spreading her lead. Man, this, this Fiora is insane. I'm saving my combo for this. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Don't miss the cannon. Alright. Nice. I'll just go the standard Lich Bane here. Oh, I even get the luxury of clearing top lane. Nice. It's a cannon wave too. That's massive. Yorick, I appreciate the, the slow push. Cannon? Alright. It's like plus 200 gold-ish. It's like 250. It's almost a kill. Yor goes crazy. Okay, he's doing the right thing. Bramble Vest. These Fiora's builds literally all heal. Heal. What is it? Gore Drinker into Hydra? That's like 90% of the time. Yeah, at this point we just control all objectives. We can one-shot him because he has no MR. And it's good. He'll stay level 11. Because like, Fiora is going with the team. That's the thing. If Fiora was top, I'd be going bot lane. But Fiora is fed enough. Is it Yumi 1v9? No. It's going to be Trundle 1v9. Oh, no. Or is it? Nah. All right, we got him. Yeah, I've never seen this futuristic... Uh, f <laughs> this futuristic tech collector's rush. Let me check his OP.GG. Mr. Gold for 400 games. Yeah, I think he's just... Yeah, he... Okay, he rushes the collectors and then goes Immortal Shield Bow. Yeah, he's actually going something with pants or dragon coverage or something. You know what I mean? It's like it actually works to an extent, but... <laughs> it's like... 
Uh, I think he's breaking the meta. So well played to him. It's a fiesta though. Like I said, it's literally a fiesta. And it's just you don't want you just don't throw your bounty. Or you don't it's literally just throwing bounties. I feel like that's like the main throw every time. People throwing their bounties left and right. He has Merc Tread, so he's no longer burstable. It is unfortunate. <laughs> I'm just going to get Lich Bane. Oh, uh, no, I don't have enough. I think I should probably farm his Raptors. Reset towards Drag. Ping the team for it. Legit, I mean, like... Oh, yeah, what was I on about? Oh, it was uh, Trundle. I could focus their bot lane easily, though. This is what I'm talking about, throwing leads. Is it a throw, though? That's the question. Oh, my, the R flash. That's some advanced level stuff. That was some Korean challenger macro, or... Micro. Micro, right? Micro, yeah, yeah micro. You can still one shot him. Oh. Help! I'm good. I can't. Team is not close enough. Yo, we should have taken drag though. They kind of threw it there. Mm, I have no mana. Where do I go? Right now, a good buy is Rabadons. I have a good feeling, as soon as I buy my first Needleless Rod, some people will start to get MR. So I'll just wait. I'll see if I need Void or uh, Needleless Rabadons. It's really just grouping. Grouping for objectives like Drag, which we aren't doing. Fiora has no TP, but she's still split pushing. I don't care that much. Because I feel like as long as she draws pressure away from drag, we're good. That's an easy, another pick. See what I'm saying? So literally just stop getting caught mid game. <laughs> and play team fights correctly. Those are like the two key points in my opinion. And look, look at this dude. Let's see, we're playing Fizz. What happens? Oh, he has too much movement speed from River. I think he's cheating. Shouldn't have dodged my R. Nah, I'm just playing. That's drag, though. Ooh, Fiora. Nice. Tower gold? I'll take it. Tower golds give so much. I think outer towers. It's the one that... Outer towers give more, I'm pretty sure. But, I mean, mid tower is pretty good. It gave us, like, 300. Outer towers, I believe, give, like, 500. So, like, those side laners, that Fiora, they're stacked. Yep, he has Newell Queaver. And then Ezreal shot his R at me for extra effect. Do we outscale? Yes. I, yeah, we do. We do. But again, people be throwing left and right. It's like, can you really, look at the volley. How do you? How are you guys throwing this? See what I'm saying? And now they're fighting without me. It's just throw fiesta. And this takes... Uh, some people, they have different experiences. Some people are like... I was watching Exile. He was like... This was, this was like two years ago though. It was uh, like a documentary. This was his first. It was on his own experience climbing from... Silver to, to diamond, right? Trying to go for their back line. Alright, we'll go for the front line. Yo. Yo. Where's my back line? Holy, I'm literally 1v all. It's my kill. Oh. Like, Vayne, I'm tripling your damage. Pathetic, really. Whatever. Probably why you're 
at this rating. No offense. <laughs> no, like actually. And yeah, that's all right. You can't play like the people here. You got to be better and built different. Yeah. Sounds right. Like, that was an easy collapse. I don't know why she was backing off. Especially when she had Soraka, she had Soraka next to her. Kind of odd. It will take blue. My kill. I don't care who takes it. Fiora, you're a pretty good player. I like your uh, macro of roaming, not just staying top lane like it's a, its own island. But you got it. It's because I missed my shark. All right, this, 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 this. <laughs> I'm the one talking about throws, and I do that. This guy's one and f he was zero and five. Divine Sunder. Tiamat. And how do these people die again? Like, this is what I'm talking about. It's literally all mid game. These people throw back and forward. Back and forward. <laughs> it's insane. Because, okay, so the experience, like I said, Exile, he said, gold is no problem. You'll, you'll get out. It's, it's like, it's like, cherry up. It's like, I don't know what he, he just said. It, it was, it was free low. That was not the case with me. Not even about just getting ahead early. It's literally mid game, I swear. This is no, definitely. Like, you saw how Zyra played the lane. I'm pretty sure everyone, Fiora, Yorick, Volley with his pathing and such, Vayne, Soraka, they all played the laning phase probably tragically compared to like uh, Master Tier Plus, obviously. But to get to Plat in general, it's like uh, he's gonna E, yeah? This <laughs> Nice flash. <laughs> she took both double buffs, so I'm sad. And I didn't get uh, Medjai stacks. I got like two. To get the plat, I think it's uh, macro over micro. Plus, they play a lot. They play most times. They play passively. Gold players, they just like. They don't want to be the one two feet, so they play passively. Versus, they should be playing aggressively and limit testing. It's just my experience, at least. Limit testing is key. But yeah, it's laning phase. I feel like there's always, always, always room for improvement. And then just looking at mid game. Yeah, we're fighting for drag. Let's go team. Glad I don't need a uh, void staff this game. <laughs> and games drag out to like the 30 to 40 minute mark every time because people die back and forward. That's a nice parry. Should be an easy team fight. Notice how I just dropped this shark in the middle of them and uh, I just ram. Just got them all. Just got them all. Massive. Me I think it was a megalodon. If I'm not mistaken. It was a Megalodon. That Megalodon did Megala tons of damage. <laughs> Get it? It rhymes. Oh man, I'm so funny. Guys, smash the like button. Oh man. Guys, if you lash if 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 you laughed, smash the like button. And if you didn't. Hit the dislike button twice. Hit it twice. All right. 700 AP. I think Baron gives like extra 50. Stacks on top of Rabidons. We still one shot. Especially because level gap. I guess we've been farming efficiently. We've been farming efficiently, so. Yeah. Since we've been farming efficiently, getting that XP, we're juiced. Yo, what's up? Oh, I thought Yumi. <laughs> uh, I thought you. I, I could have gotten to Yumi too. 
Nice W. I just QW'd autoed. Level diff, item diff, everything diff. Zyro was not a happy camper this game. It's fun. Like, it's every time. That's why I'm like, I still say, don't forfeit. Ever. Like, even if the score is 21 to 4. Because most of the times, they for fun it. Like, they, they, they think they already won. They go in 1v3, and they'll they'll give you, like, a thousand gold bounties. And throw back and forward. You guys win that, right? You guys are... You guys are pretty fed. Oh, look at that. Look at that positioning from Vayne. Vayne has the worst positioning I've seen in my life. But that's alright. There's a reason... There's a reason she's uh she's there. And that's given Elo. And she she needs to personally review. Alright, I took bot tower or bot inhib. I didn't group with the clown fiesta these people are doing. Solo gold lead. 25 stacks on Medjice. Void stack. <laughs> Why not? CDR is important, definitely. And the CDR on our summoner spells. But I mean, like, might as well. It's fun. We just one-shot everyone. <laughs> That's what I find fun. And I mean, like, technically, you can basically do this on everyone. Fizz, Echo, Diana. Like, this this whole strategy, it's, it's shove and roam. Just winning the lane since you're an assassin. Shoving roaming and then running around the map doing this. Just one shotting. Should give me enough for elixir. I might as well get it. Man, I don't want this to end. This is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Why does Vayne have less CS than the junglers? Who am I watching? They're the lane that was ahead. No, they got that. I think they lost early, but they came back mid to late game. I just one shot Yorick. It's like my last chance before he gets. No, we can't. He has too much HP. It's fun. These people are trying to fight. Okay, Yumi wasted exhaust without Fiora or me. So that, that's what I'm saying. Another throw. We'll see. We, we could have actually done it. Oh, we can. Funny, funnily enough, I thought. Nice. I thought that they had Soraka. That, that was Zyra. I think it's literally skin difference. Like, uh, I'm doomed. Kill me. Oh, I think we win off that, though. That's the thing. Right? I think we do. All right, we are <clears throat> in Platinum Elo. Welcome to the lands. Well, I don't like this lands. A bunch of inflated ego, inf the people with inflated egos who actually don't know. Ah, uh, what, what am I saying? All right, I just. I, people are really toxic in this rank like they think they know it all they just don't so yeah uh this this ranks kind of hard i mean typically where the 
for that. Uh, typically, we're playing against Lucian, hard matchup. Sound on. Oh, I was about to word with no sound. Would have been unfortunate. Put that at nine. Uh, yeah, kind of a counter, but I'm going to guess he's going to miss position. We'll be able to lock in a killer too. But we'll see. Typically, I feel like you can do advanced concepts like roaming at this point. Shove and roaming wins games and such. What's what's like the What's like the 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 main reason why they're here? Laning phase means more than other ranks. Like gold, silver, bronze. It means more, not every everything. Because there are throws mid game. Up until like Diamond 2, there's a lot of throws. But I mean it starts to mean more. Like if you get ahead early, there's like a a good percentage you can close out the game. Okay, he's gonna hit me here. Might get a mini trade. He eat too late. But I mean, yeah, this is a rough lane. Need jungle assistance. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get destroyed. Might wait for level three. Have to be patient here. Wait for this goofball of a jungler. Sucks. I can't eat onto him again because as soon as I have no mobility, he could just auto me to death. So I always need a way to go into traits and then go out. Oh, he missed his Q. That's nice. But Kha'Zix, I'm okay with him full clearing. Just know that I can't contest that Scuttle Crab. Yeah. And Mordekaiser has no prio. Or he has prio, so we just have to give. My wave is bigger. I'm trying to recall. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to recall. If he's smart, he'll let the wave come out. He probably will. Let the wave come out and then hold it on his side. I don't care that much, I guess. What she's doing. Okay. Bum, bum. But the good news is he has to recall eventually. And when he has to recall, then I'll just crash the wave. And I'll have Pryo for a couple of seconds. So I'll have room to maybe roam. He has to recall eventually. Or if he stays, I'll probably just tire dive him altogether. My wave is too big, so. See what we could do. Did I dodge his uh, Q? I think I did. I have to crash this wave. I don't want him to freeze it on me. It's too close to tower. Oh, I baited him. I pretended like he flashed. I pretended like... Uh, can't get the wave. There we go. He's zoned. He's kind of dumb. <laughs> and I could just recall here. He flashed. I pretended like no gank was coming by walking back and then Kha'Zix got the flash. Flashed on top of him. Easy claps. Dark Seal boots. Typically, in these hard lanes, I can't win lane through the 1v1. Unless I'm really far ahead, which I'm not right now. So I just have to try to play for shove and roam and find opportunities to 2v2. Kha'Zix counters Kindred, which means... The 1v1 in the jungle should be favorable for us. And we should have objective prior. Like, they can't go to bushes. Because we have Fizz and Kha'Zix. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's going to clear it. I'm going to get a deep ward. Might be able to sneak over Rome here. It's possible. To just burn a summoner spell. Get the gin. Yep. He flashed, too, which is... Nice for us. I lost full wave. I should have helped them push. Then drag? That is probably the correct move. Yep. I mean, like, I can't win lane 1v1 like that. So I just have to play for the roams. Play for helping the team and such. Nice job, man. You should have eat over this wall, so though. It would give him a chance to live. But he didn't. 
Oh, okay, uh, fight for Scuttle. I'm help. I'm here. Easy claps. Warrior Kaiser's level 6, but we got this. We could probably focus him here. Oh. This guy wants to focus Scuttle Crab. I have too much mobility. I live. The 2B. Oh my god, there's no shot. There's no shot we lose that. And he loses Scuttle? That's Kha'Zix's problem. That is Ka And then this is what I'm talking about. They literally, like, do not, at a fundamental level, know what they're talking about. At all. They don't know what they're talking about. Unfortunate. Like, they die, and then they'll have someone to blame. Like, this is Silver version 2. I'm not kidding. Like... I feel like they're better mechanically and macro wise a little bit to make it to here. But I mean, they're still not good. They're still not good. They don't know much about how the game functions in general. I'm half CS, which is actually kind of normal. The goal is actually to be half CS, but find opportunities to get kills and help your team out in other ways. Like we got our bot lane snowballed Jim blue flash when we came. So like we're winning the lane through not winning the lane. Uh, Kindred there. Let's see if we can uh, get a pick here. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of massive. I don't have sharks. It's just like I don't have kill pressure on anyone. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow, that's some advanced stuff. I never thought I'd see that in Platinum. One... That's the type of stuff you see in like <laughs> Grandmaster Plus. What is going on? Wait, that's AD. That's pretty good. That means I could roam. I'm just gonna play for the shove. Or at least try to. If he freezes it, I'll just roam. And pray that Kindred doesn't counter gank as our Kha'Zix full clears. Oh, he's bot side, yeah. Do you have MR? No MR. Might be able to look for the dive top lane then. I can't play for mid, like the, the 1v1, at least not right now. Uh, 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 uh. He knows. He doesn't. We win this. We win this. Definitely. Don't let him R. Oh, he R'd, but inside the dungeon. Got the shark attack. Just run. Just run. I think he flashed. Yes. And we get shut down gold. Help. Mid covers. Or the jungle covers mid. We're kind of gapping him. The Lucian, at least. I don't care if we lose if we lose i'm still putting this in the plot section because this is what you're literally supposed to do like uh yes you lose games oh no every game isn't a 30 and 0 stomp i actually still think this is like very winnable though even if we do fall behind which we aren't because throws tend to happen mid game a lot just a little bit less than gold They're probably losing their mentals, bot. Lucian's farming up mid. We're the same level, so that's how you know we're winning. And he took Ignite, which is okay. If he's able to push, like me, for 2v2s, roams, prio, control over the lane. I feel like he probably would have benefited more from exhaust. Because he didn't even use Ignite like once this lane. Kendra still has R, he's going Wits End. Or she's going Wits End. I mean, okay, but I think Gold and Silver, I, I give like pretty good guidelines. Or of what I believe, how you climb out of that. Platinum's kind of hard to give guidelines. Like, I just do it. 
I beat them with knowledge. Like, most Fizz players, they just stay in lane and lose to Lucian 1v1. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know how, like, but that's so hard to say. Like, what am I supposed to tell you? Find creative ways outside of just knowing game knowledge and such to win. It's, it's like, you see what I'm saying? It's like, yes. It's lane matchups. You have to know them. How to win hard lane matchups like I'm doing now. They know I'm trying to roam. Bot lane, if they shove in and keep poking, I could look for the dive. If they just keep playing back. Oh, Ash is lagging. Oh, no. Kha'Zix counters Kindred and is losing. That's what I'm saying. Counters don't mean anything. Actually. So troll. I, I don't understand how you lose that 1v1. Oh, there's a ward. Oh, no. At least we're making them scared bot. They actually can't play. Bot lane needs to play more aggressive with their lead, which they aren't doing. Which is very inefficient. Well, I'm not expecting a lot from them. I have to force the plays if I want any. How far are they staying back? Could be a free low play. Look for it. They can't play the game, man. And Lucian's still farming mid, which is... Yeah, like, we're literally gabbing him, and we haven't killed him once. I think we killed him once when Kha'Zix ganked, but you get the idea. <laughs> like, just knowing the game better. And I'm up in levels right now. Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix will completely counter their comp. If he plays correctly. But he's level 9. So he already played incorrectly. I'm just saying. His champion should demolish their team. Oh, he went Triforce. That's weird. Most of them go Kakin Slayer. Uh, he's going to ult. And then that's probably good for us. Get, it, get the slow off. Mm. Close, close. I have blue. That's nice. Might be able to just steamroll the mid game. Oh, Mortal Shield Bow. Yeah, that just means we don't play for killing him 1v1. But we just play for the roams in 2v2s. <laughs> because that's more for lane in 1v1. But the thing that Immortal Shieldbow does is makes his late game lacking. Very much so. When it comes to damage, he's going to be underwhelming. For the most part. It's fine. This guy's just trying to do anything. Mm, can't do anything right now. Those Kha'Zix can contest something. Oh, this could be good. It's probably a really bad time to ult for Mord. He loses a lot under tower. Hmm. Just take it. I have blue already, so it doesn't really matter that much. I muted his pings. Is he pinging me to take it? Obviously not. I already have blue. I have I have a muted. Come on, let's go. Arigato. Say it with me. Guys, put ayayas in the comments if you watch animes and you say Yes, can we get a ayayas? Ay 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 spam. <laughs> uh, I need sweeper more than anything. 
At this point, bot should not be losing in CS. I am actually kind of confused on that. And how are we down a drag when bot lane's ahead? This jungler and bot lane are playing incorrectly. Another vision ward, probably from like Zyra. Like I'm playing for your lane, man. How are you guys still? I hate this rank so much. I think too highly of them. No offense, but like I actually expect them to do the basics, a simple, simple macro. Get him. He has Gale Force, so we have to dash with his dash. You know what I'm saying? Got him. There we go. Lucian's here, he's too late. Bot tower. This game will be long. I can tell. It's going to be a throw fiesta back and forward. You know, I think it probably in champ select, Lucian probably picked Lucian into Fizz going, I hate Fizz. Oh, let me see if he even plays Lucian. Up. Does he play Lucian? Like, counter picks don't matter, in my opinion. Depends. Depends. At this rating, they do, they can matter. Like, the. The massive counter picks, you know? Like, some of them, I don't know. Who's a good one? I feel like Fizz can technically win every lane. Same with Zed. It's gonna be more like the, see like Kha'Zix Kindred. Kindred won, even though Kha'Zix counters. Like these people don't know why they counter. That's the problem with counter picks. He probably picked Lucian. He does, oh, he has a 65% win rate with Lucian. They pick these counter picks thinking they win lane. He actually is a Lucian player though, so that doesn't He didn't just counter pick for this reason or that reason. Go mid. You guys are getting caught. How are you guys like did Ash get into ult range? How? How do you get into ult range? Oh my god. That's insane. Actually, no shot. Get a massive megalodon. I thought I was trying to give him a penta. So wait for my cooldowns to come back up. Otherwise, with his conquer. With this Conqueror, he would have gotten the kill on me. Conqueror and Riftmaker stacked. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. I need to shove him bot and then come mid. But these Clown Fiestas, man. They fight without Fizz. They just fight just to fight. But, I mean, I guess that's kind of what Fizz wants anyways. Just a fight every like three seconds. I'll go Lich Bane. I feel like the rank, depending on who you're talking to, though, the rank where you start to lose games, and like, we're talking, like, when challenger players do unranked to challenger or diamond, whatever they do, it's usually, like, master tier, grand master tier, challenger. They start to lose once they hit, like, platinum one D4. That's when players are good enough to where if they get rolled early, they can close out the game for the most part. That's where the tilt comes into play. Like this Kha'Zix player, oh my god. This guy is horrible. I'm saying this because he's 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 so toxic. Been flaming up a storm, all of that. Just to be terrible at the game. It's the players with the ego. When they're horrible. Just terrible. They're just toxic. See, I mean, like... I don't type, that's the thing. 
Like, I'll be toxic, like, in, in my head, maybe. I'll be like, yeah, this guy sucks. And you know, I'm probably right. That guy sucks. I don't type it. I don't type it. I can't I can't go for the all-in. He wasted his ult, though. Or <laughs> her ult. Oh, man. Actually, my bad. It's late at night. This is the weirdest build. We have another prefer- <laughs> our dragon fan. <laughs> Every time. What do these people come up with? Like, they don't do bad. Go back to my Trundle one in the gold replay. Trundle with collectors and a mortal shield bow. Like, Panzer Dragon needs to see this, man. <laughs> these people, they're they're breaking the meta. All right. Let's see if we can uh, go for a flank here. That's tragic. Got the kill on Lucian, but yeah, I got a flank. I didn't have shark. That's the problem. Typically on Fizz, when you're ahead, you just come from the side of the fights. Never want to come from the front, and we win the team fight. Oh, bum bum. Let's go. Hmm. Interesting. How do we get aced? What? I thought we won the fight. No shots. That's actually so sad. What? That's really disappointing. Is it because our bot lane doesn't deal enough DPS? Like, I'm objectively trying to look at why we lost. I mean, I did the best I could. If I had Shark, it'd be better, but... And then Kindred had no ult. <sighs> Weird. I think Kindred has ult in 20 seconds. So I'll see if I can get a quick kill here. Oh. I tried. Shred a gouge. Kind of underrated. There we go. Mortal shield bow. Oh, get him. Get him, Seraphine. Oh, the platinum mechanics. My eyes! <laughs> My eyes! What am I watching? Uh. <laughs> uh, nah, that's my bad. I missed the shark. CDR. I think I can just go death cap. God. Bring something else. Heavy AD. They have like no, they're not heavy AD. They're heavy autoers though, for the most part. Yeah, Malphite's pretty good into their comp. I think so. Just gotta get rid of Mordekaiser somehow. That's like bot lane's job, playing front to back, trying to get to the Mordekaiser. They're just trying to shred him. Because he has no like tank stats. He's bruiserish, which means backline can destroy him. I'm not. Sp I technically could focus. In my opinion, it might be better to play front to back with the team. Yeah, team fighting. Because their backline doesn't deal a lot of damage compared to like Mordekaiser or Kindred. complicated but i'm thinking of like a lot of things i'm thinking of like kindred and lucian and mord getting to my back line to stop us from dealing dps i'm thinking that their back line just won't do enough damage i appreciate it actually arigato get comment section arigato say it with me arigato
you guys are probably like, wow, he's one of these cringe Twitch cha chat people. And I am. I'm the guy who goes into Tyler Wynn streams and spams ay ay ay. <laughs> just, just to be, just to be odd. It's not even funny, tbh. It's not funny. <laughs> You're just weird. You're just like people, the community is just like. Can someone get their mans? <laughs> That's the funny part. Look at that. He didn't even. He couldn't even R. Right, we gotta shark this guy and then like. Where's my team? Bro, Malphite, why are you diving? What is this guy doing? Front to back, everyone. Front to back. Front to back. My backline should be having a heyday. Like, they're not dying. Ash? I feel like... Uh, is she dealing the most damage? I am. Of course. That's a dumb question. Of course I'm dealing the most damage. Ash, that was a free kill. Why are we trying to go Baron when Kindred's up in four? Oh boy. Should we trust these Platinum player shot calling? No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. Malphite's not here. Actually, Mordekaiser is bought. This is like a, kind of a free low play. There's just so much that went wrong. From Mordekaiser going bot to us wanting to do it without knowing if Mordekaiser was coming top. It's fun though. <laughs> Omega lol. It's kind of funny. I think we can. We can probably go Baron. I just need to play Bushes. Yeah, if I play Bushes. Oh man. Seraphine, can you hear me? Heal me? I think it's not like Sona heal. She actually needs to use it accordingly, but like. Oops. We need to contest something, man. Scaling wise, it could go either way, in my opinion. Bro, they got they are stacked with wards. Holy. Let's try to get this this goofy. Try to get this goofy goober. We got Zyra. Let's get that goofy goober. Let's get this guy next. Oh, I didn't even get an assist. That's my 20 kill game. Yeah, his or I don't know, Riot gave him like more shots and more abilities to do crits with. Like, it does more damage with crit. It actually does like 4,000 damage. Kind of insane, this brain dead company, I swear. I don't know how to balance anything. Let's go for Baron, that's a good call. I was actually about to Papega it. Try to go for towers. Yeah, this is where I feel like Platinum's the rank where you need to know if you play front to back or you dive their back line. Refer to my uh, Ultimate Fizz guide where I go over that when to it's a three hour long guide. So, oh, that's pretty good. He actually, why? Why is that even allowed, man? Look at that sidestep. I'm scripting on them. I'm dead. He has Sharita Gouge, 30% per, per, 30 slow. That's not worth We need uh, Baron. Baron's going to be what we use to push with. Good job, team. Very good. Well, I'm mute. And I'm recording this all in like different days. Like I'll do the silver. <laughs> yes. Is is because the guy had a stream. I actually visited it. He was pretty. They're pretty fun. It's a duo bot lane. 
they're a pretty funny stream. Oh, I need this uh, wood stuff. What was it? What did I want to say? I forgot. Oh yeah, the front to back. Yeah, just go to the three hour long guide. Watch it completely and you'll know how to carry games just that easily. Thanks, Kha'Zix. Thanks for not egoing your mid laner. Actually, that helps a lot. Especially when I don't go Ludens. I don't have mana problems though. You just have to use your mana accordingly. And then you're fine. Oh no. I just can't give him his passive and we'll win. He got stunned and couldn't R. L M A O. Front to back and we win. They're stacking MR as soon as I get Void Staff. Perfect. And I think that should be the game, actually. Should be. Need my Q off cooldown. Oh, the collectors. I was trying to Q back and then Seraphine would W. Drag plus bot inhib, that's fine. We'll just close it out once we go top lane. Oh yeah, this is a game. Like I said before, I already said it. I didn't know if I want to set. I, I wanted to say it again during my gold one, because it's kind of cringe saying the same outro like four times within the four vods you do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Oh no, it's not the game. Okay, it's not the game yet. <clears throat> I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I gotta record. I think I'm gonna do another platinum one because typically this is more for like the low elo. This is kind of a good representation of what would happen in people's games. So I'll do it again and then I'll do the diamond one. The diamond game. It'll be like D1 Master Tier MMR and then we'll close it out there. And it should be in total like two to three hours. Which people tend to like. It's like a movie. That's what they call it. It's a movie. Shove top. I don't want to get caught here. Yep. <clears throat> the goal is not to get caught. Which a lot of people tend to do. Mm -mm -mm. They're all top. Shove mid. They shouldn't be all top. They might overcommit. Yep. They're overcommitting when they should be mid. At least one of them. Some of them. Mortar Kaiser's top. We'll just rotate mid. Force of 4v5 while Mortar Kaiser clears that. And then we'll end it there. Frick. I wanted to WQ him. He would have been dead. Should be a free low inhib though. Could play it patient and then go barren. But I'm oh. <laughs> Malphite. He turned into raid boss status. Get him. I think this is actually kind of good. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of good because my E, it kind of counters Kindred's R when I'm fed. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.
for like the third time. Oh, this guy's throwing. <laughs> oh man, he's throwing. Alright, it's not the game. We want to play 40 minutes. Nice. No, I can't. You, you really can't get anything else. Boots are like the most efficient thing to get anyways. Same AP, right? No, protobelt's more. It's a bit more. Yo! You're... I, 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 <laughs> wait. Come on, let's go. I don't know what this is. A Congo all nights. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. You can be weird in the post game chat. <laughs> Malphite, I'm going to carry you. Stop typing. There you go. <laughs> this guy's taking this game too seriously. <laughs> what does this guy think this is, the LCS? It's a clown fiesta. We can have fun and win this game. Write that down, everyone. Silver, bronze, whatever. You can have fun and still win the game. If you're not losing. If you're losing, the game is not fun. It's quite the opposite. Uh, we might be able to end without it. Look at this. Look at this guy. Took no damage. Front to back still? <clears throat> Kha'Zix shoves, like, it's open inhib too. I'm gonna do a, a five head move and then, I think I win this. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's mad. All right, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, that's bad. I shouldn't have uh, Eid so early, but yeah, I'm out. Hey guys, I'm Shark. Welcome back to the second part of the Platinum Climb to Diamond in three hours. Yeah, I decided to do Platinum twice because, again, I'm trying to cover like the ranks most people are in. Most people are in Silver and Gold. Oops. I think it's actually bronze, bronze, silver people are in the most, but I feel like platinum, it's a mix of players that have some good ish fundamentals. Like they're actually good at the game in some aspects. I think they platinum players, some aspects they they're good at, but they make mistakes here and there. I feel like this is like the rank where if I play in, it's going to be the most realistic to, you know, your games. So I'll do two Platinums and then one Diamond 1 slash Master Tier MMR after this game. We're playing against Lux, pretty standard mage matchup. Kind of odd. She's letting me get the shove off. And as we all know, after the buffs... Ah, no. I need level 2 before I could trade. Typically... Your level 3 is going to be stronger with the buffs. Post 6 weaker. So, we're going to see if we can try to solo kill her even with barrier. We're going to trade her through the wave. Uh, that's not the worst thing in the world. We just have to wait for our corrupting. Not take a lot of harass. Try to dodge an E. Oh, that's cringe. It's fine. Oh, the minion's focusing me. Is that still enough? Oh. 
It's, a the, it's worth because the wave is bouncing back to me. That's why I flashed there. The wave is in a good spot where it's going to slow push back to me. And she should be down probably around two waves by the time she comes back. Wave and a half. Sad news is I can't back up my boy at Scuttle. Oh, I thought you were about to TP to take the wave. Oh, that's so sad. My bad, big dog. See? Yeah, she loses two waves. I'm just going to let it crash. Alright, this is kind of grief. Go to the other scuttle. There's no way. It's 2v. Uh, these clowns. They don't understand that I just recalled. How did they actually win that? Oh my god. Like, they don't fight with calculation of, like, number advantage. None of that. They just fight to fight. I guess I really is cracked, though, so. <laughs> it is what it is. Crash. All right, we get the crash off. I think this is a nice, uh... Hey, yeah, it hits that minion, so it's slow pushing back. The nice uh, cheetah recall. Can't stop it. That's a cheetah recall. Because the wave is crashed. It's going to slow push back to me, but I'll be ahead in resources and levels. And I don't really lose much. I just have tempo in the lane where it's on my side. Post 6 is when I usually just look to AFK shove and then roam on Fizz because I'm an assassin. Let's see if we can hold it. Uh, I don't like holding on mages. Typically mages, they have such long range with their E. That they're going to be able to farm regardless. So it's like freezing on them doesn't really work. And you'd rather just shove in. Get priority. Alright, let's see if we can Q Shark. Turn level 6 there. I actually thought it'd be off one minion, but it's two. Level 7 Mastery Lux mid player. Champion's really common in lower ranks. I mean, even in like diamonds, you see her. But like past masters, it's it's uh you don't really see her that much. I mean, she's a solid mage, especially. Oh. Sh oh boy. Did we get that? We didn't even get the tower plating. That's sad. Let's see. I just go for the one shot build. With the tier two magic pen. <clears throat> oh, I could have gotten a vision. But yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This is where I just start to shove. Aurelius fed. We could play off top side if bot lane's too weak. But we're probably ahead enough where we could shut down bot lane. I might just play for shove. You should have went for the Q there. Because I used all my abilities. Which was a misplay on my part, which she didn't. So opportunities like those they don't take which actually loses them the lane every missed opportunity is a gained opportunity for us because look at us we're cracked look at our roam so cracked there we go we get two kills there just afk shove and roaming panda camera bot lane and we'll reset One of the main reasons why, like, players 
can have such crazy win rates mid lane at least is because most of the times platinum and diamond especially you don't win lane through winning lane most of the times it's winning lane through roaming and setting up prio and contesting scuttles or if you're playing a mage just more towards just farming 10 cs per minute and then scaling nemesis does it on kale you can literally see how that that works that was oh my god platinum that was the worst R I've ever seen in my life. But it's okay though. Yo, Ezreal. Maybe pick a champion. <laughs> that's a kill. My Oh, that's so not worth. Ezreal missed everything, man. Everything. Holy I'm playing towards top side. This guy is so useless. This guy can't do anything right. Misses his R. When he chose to use R, that was the wrong time to choose R anyways. Oh man, we roamed by and it was all useless because these clowns are just useless. Such useless animals. Literally, so brain dead. Alright, I can't play for bot side. Play for top now. Might just go for the all-in, TBH. Get one more minion. Get the level up. Oh, we might not be able to get the kill. Oh, okay. Because our R got nerfed. So our burst is actually less. Fizz's win rate is lower now. Ever since the nerf. It's nerfs. It's not buffs. It's They said it's adjustments and changes. It's, it's a nerf. To Fizz in low elo and high elo. It's worse. It's Riot Games. Legit, they just kill your champion, and it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate indeed. You have blue buff. I'm just looking to shove in Rome. I don't have R, but I think I can make it happen. Get him low enough so that way I can tower dive. With my oh, okay, nice. Bum, 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 bum. We have to get top lane ahead since this useless bot lane. This type of I'm literally sounding like the players in the rank. This rank. That's how they talk. Silver too. Honestly, even diamond. You 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 call people useless, but you have to carry these useless people. That's just the truth. It's like they're useless, but you have to carry these useless people. You should be asking. Yeah, they're going to be useless every game. How do I 1v9? Because they're not going to do anything correctly. That's how you got to think. They're just throwing leads. There goes shutdown gold. Man, all games are winnable. You should have saw the last game. That game, they. I feel like my team should have got rolled. But the other team just threw the last platinum game. He has no MR, so it's uh, doable. It's doable. He has no MR, but he can hop to a minion, which is annoying. Ah, that's fine. I'm going to cra crash the wave? Crash it? Yeah, 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 that works. That works. That's good. That's actually really... Sh uh, that's really good... Uh, Macro, something I don't expect. You clear mid, you can clear mid and then come back top when the wave resets back to you. Want to come back top? Or you just want to stay mid, I, I don't know. You could probably clear the wave and then come back. Is this first tower? Oh, that's unfortunate. It's all good though. Sure, you died. You have TP for drag. I feel like you could just go but top and then TP. Strong mental state in this game. Legit. I'm not kidding when I could say it will raise your win rate by like 5%. Me, if I never tilt, it raises my win rate by like 2%. In Master Tier Plus. 
You know what I'm saying? But it's it's it's, it's harder said than done, obviously. Actually, like you think, just don't give up. Don't flame teammates. Don't be negative about the situation. Oh, thanks for the insights. We're playing League of Legends. Like, all that goes out the window. Shark him? Oh, that's so bad. I shouldn't be bought. I shouldn't be bought. I should just play towards top side. Oh, I'm so frustrated with this bot lane. Like, if you look at their KDA, sure, 0 2, that's not that bad. It's the abilities they have at micro and team fighting it is horrendous. This guy cannot land a single skill shot. Oh, this should have been over the first time I roamed bot. I have to remember the rank I'm playing in. These players cannot secure a lead for their lives. Oh my god. And then this jungler keeps contesting 2v2s in the river. I'm literally stating what's happening. Shark. That's negativity. What do you think happened? Am I supposed to say, but that's okay every time I say a sentence? Oh, this guy took a 1v2 in the river and died. Oh, that's okay. Does that make it less negative or something? Like, I don't know what, what you want me to say. These people, you guys are literally, you guys want to be angels or something. When you forget the environment we're playing in. Like, no, I'm stating the issue. How can I 1v9 because these players can't do anything correctly? And I can, it's going to be up to me. I'm dead. Kha'Zix is, uh. Debated. Yeah, I just have to play towards top side and hope she's cracked that Irelia. Literally, some of you people think you're holier than thou, I swear. It's like the 5% the of the community. It, 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 I mean, I, I get it. I get it. Ish. I get it. You know, Pansar Dragon, I, I don't know, especially like on his second channel, he talks a lot about like his climb and stuff, why it was horrible and why he would never do it again. <laughs> Unironically. He said getting rank one was the worst thing in the world because no one cared. But besides the point of that, he talks about people not wanting to see toxicity, but they're not the best at the game, like the best of the best, the cream of the crop rank one. He said, if you want to make it to such a level, you have to be toxic to an extent, toxic at yourself to get better and toxic just in, at teammates because you want to climb you have that mentality i have to win this game and you just can't you can't climb if you just have this like blank I, it's a game type mentality you know what i mean it's just true it's true climbing to top 10 yeah it just it takes that nine times out of ten for people climbing to top 10 on the ladder It just means you're just more tilted more often. You have to have strong mental states when people feed and such. Just the truth. Okay, mid and bot switched, but we got bot tower first. That's good. But like for real, the this is like there's so many.
There's so many like just negative sides to the community. I don't think that's the worst. That's the worst side of the community, at least in my opinion. I honestly think they're the best. Like that top 10% that just never are angry at the game at all, who just kind of play. I don't want to say for fun, but it's like they, it is like they play to either challenge themselves. They don't care what happens in the game. They're challenging themselves or they're actually playing for fun. Like they, they don't care about dying. They just want to try stuff, play stuff, whatever. I mean, they're, they're, they're the best. Like they're like, they're, honestly, that fun community is probably like 30%. Most of them play normals though. They don't play ranked, which I mean, I respect. I do respect because you do something that many people need to do play league for fun but platinum's the start where it's like to get here most more than likely you play the game to uh like uh like a level where you're you're not having fun because you want to like improve you know it's kind of that's where i define plat as like if you make it to plat you've probably played like over 4,000 games of League of Legends for many seasons now, at least from what are, you know, what I usually see. And then you're there. I mean, you know, there's still stuff that you can improve on, obviously. But yeah, so you have like the 40% of players who just have fun with the game. Honestly, respects to them. You have, I think I one shot him. It's going to be, you have TP. This is, this is so free, man. You have to TP to this ward. Oh my God. So lucky they didn't start drag. Start it. This is the 20% of players. This Again, they're usually platinum, which is why I hate this rank. They talk like they actually know a lot about how to climb and such. They talk. They always preach about what they think macro-wise, micro-wise, when someone's going over something who is literally master tier, grand master tier challenger. They're talking about all these things they know because they just know. Their decision making, all this stuff, and they just have an ego. They call anyone below them like garbage. They're so toxic when they're not even at the top. That's the worst batch of the community, in my opinion. They're like the backseat gamers of Twitch and in comment sections when they're not even good. And they don't have fun with the game. They only play the game. What? These are the players. They only play the game to flex their rank. Why? Like, why? You give League of Legends the worst rap ever. Rep. Rep. Like, the reputation. Yeah, it's just horrible. You don't even have fun with the game. You play the game to be better than other people below you and to talk trash. And to talk about how you know so much when you don't. That's why I literally cringe. I cringe when I hear Platinum. Or, no, okay. Like, from my experience. When I hear Platinum. <laughs> I thought he was going to mad life me. Ah! Oh my god. I have Zonius. The rebot. And then it's it's Platinum. Okay, respectable. You're Platinum. Nice. You, you got good at the game eventually. Ish. It's... When I hear takes from them. They're hot takes, like... Oh, they're hot takes like diamond four is the worst rank in the world when they haven't even hit diamond oh you're a master tier hard stuck trash you haven't even hit diamond and you're talking about master tier players being bad you see what i'm saying that that makes me cringe if you if you are calling if people diamond four dogs whatever i honestly think oh, diamond four i can't believe that's actually a bad rank in league actually hurts me 
to know that if you make it to diamond, you're still considered trash. Obviously, I passed diamond, but you know. It's no longer an accomplishment. You're a diamond heart stuck dog. That's what you are now. You're top 2%. What do you mean? See what I'm saying? It's because they hear streamers say it. Guaranteed. It's because they hear streamers say it, but the streamers who say that are literally challenger. The Grandmaster Challenger calling diamonds bad. But they think since they watch the streamer, they're as good as the streamer. Some golden platinum players, they're just really they're vocal over what they think when they're most of the times wrong. And I'm being honest, if I see that, if if they're right, I'll leave the comment. If they're wrong, I'll literally just like I'll be like, wow, this guy's an idiot. I'll cringe and I'll just ignore him. No heart comment, none of that. You're just garbage. <laughs> the first thing that comes to my mind, I'm just like... What's your... Uh, what's your... Uh, uh, whatever. Hate that phrase what's your rank what's your rank i know it's important it really is like when it comes to like getting advice and such it's like yeah that really should be it because you're anywhere in my opinion anywhere below high diamonds you shouldn't be giving advice high diamond minimum minimum Anyways, that's why I just don't like, I hate, I hate, I have such like a resentment for Platinum because they're the players that do that to me. Oh, wait, what? He took it? Um, can't even get a pick. They're the players that do that to me. They just talk too much. When I'm three times better than them. Only a handful of them are humble. It gets worse at D4. It gets worse at D4? Yeah, it gets worse. Trondo should be here, man. What are you doing? Like, they're macro. Oh, man, my head hurts. This is common sense to me, which is why I... Why did we even start it then? So many wise, wise, wise. You have to be the shot caller in this rank. I mean, this is still doable. I know bot lane's getting twice damage gapped. Which kind of sucks, but... Probably like three times TBH. Three times damage. I think I can carry this though. They took Baron. Alright. Mm-mm. I do think you're like solid at the game though. If you're platinum, you're solid. This is like mid elo. In my in my opinion, everything's subjective. Mid elo. For the general population of League of Legends. Some people say mid elo is gold. There's no objective term. Some people say mid elo is master tier plus. Again, you know. Everything's subjective. Go for the pick. Aurelia has flank. The front line's too big. Seraphine completely misses the R. Holy. Playing in a zoo right now. Holy. Literally. 
I'm playing in a zoo and their name is called Bot Lane. Virelia came through there. Nice. Nice, man. And Mortal Shield Bow plus Locket. Sag. The fact that ADCs, what's it called, or mages, AP people can't get Serpent's Fang because there's no Serpent's Fang for AP. Any MR? No. Probably go Medjais. I mean, out of my journey, towards onwards, I was hard stuck. It was I've been playing for like five, six years now. I think it's six. Hard stuck in the lowest rank, bronze four or bronze five, which is iron four in present day. I was hard stuck there for like six months. Silver stuck for like a year. Gold, I was stuck for. I think it was a year. Platinum, okay, yeah. <laughs> Every year I just climbed the rank. Platinum a year. That is actually hilarious. Every year, I just climbed one rank. All the way up to Grandmaster. Grandmaster MMR. It's funny. Okay, there's a deep ward. We have to fight for Dragon Soul. Like when I was playing in like the silver and gold, I was I was all happy and jolly. It's fun. It's fun. It's when I get here, I'm just like, the players are toxic. I t I turn a tad bit to the dark side, and it's rough. Why is Trundle top lane? This is simple stuff, man. This is simple stuff. Like, I legit expect silver players to know this. If Drag is up, you... If Dragon Soul is up, you're fighting for it. This isn't an advanced stacked wave into tower dive. It isn't. Oh, Irelia tried to get the flank off. This is horrible. It's doomed. Maybe not. It's ace? So our team fight's stronger than theirs. Yep. Our team fight's stronger than theirs, so that can be win condition. Wow, if I didn't get Magi's, I think I'd die there. And GA came in clutch. So massive. Our team fight's stronger. Because we have Irelia. That's nice. Should be massive gold. I should be able to get death cap. I need we need the inhib. So sad. Uh, we'll team fight next time. It's fine. Seven hundred AP. Oh man, I'm juiced. They're stacking armor. Wow, I'm juiced, man. I'm juiced. Besides Jax, which is fine. We could push uh, inhibs and then look to group top with Baron. That's the plan. That's correct macro. We'll see what actually happens. Maybe someone gets caught. Who knows? Thresh? Nah. Oh yeah, Thresh. Look for him. He's greeting for a ward. Jabated. 
Bro, he. Oh man, I'm so bad. On. <sighs> because they shouldn't have first push. That's the tilting part. I can't. I can't with these players, man. These are the same idiots that comment stuff. They're the same idiots that think they know everything. We had tempo on them. We had the reset. We could have sweeped vision. Yet none of that happens because they have zero clue what they're doing. That's so bad. It's so cringe. They know nothing about tempo and just securing leads. Like, what am I watching? That's so tragic. Just play for group. Like, and I, I need to ping things. Like, I, I just think they know this second nature. Second nature. Perfect times when they're, not perfect times, but good times when a recall and such. So different. From the people I'm used to playing with. It's like, obviously, I'll just gap their mid laner. That happens every time. I got counterpicked last game and I still gapped them. Did the ult hit no one? What are you players? Are you even real? Seraphine and Ezreal. Actually, you guys cannot land skill shots. Like it is impossible or something. I don't know. We can play for the group. That build is kind of Papega. Not gonna lie. Just not the best. We don't want to play front to back. We just want to go for their back line, right? Because our back line doesn't deal enough damage for us to uh, get this guy. And then we'll shark uh, Lux. All right. At least it's not soul for them. Yeah, push it. Hmm. <sighs> Might just have to play for drag. Just, just, yeah, yeah, just run up to it. Two inhibs that we don't have Baron to go to, which kind of sucks. Fine. This is good enough. Don't know what this Trundle is doing. He's been trolling all game. Get it? Because he's playing Trundle? <laughs> no, like he's actually just griefed it. Hard griefed it with absolute just abysmal macro. Let's go. They're shoving top, so eventually they're going to show. I think this should be free low. Should be. My guy has smite. I'm expecting no flops. Perfect. Smite it. I'm talking about. You guys probably don't need to fight that. In my opinion. You could probably just wait. But if you can win, Irelia. No, that's okay. You give shutdown gold, which is horrible, but it's it's like we can it's still winnable. Easily winnable. We just push top. No, the goal here is just not to get caught. What's on? Jax definitely wins 1v1. Fizz technically doesn't really scale scale late game. Tries to use his mid game to end. Uh, we'll... I 
Might be able to try to look for it. Wow, I have wits. He has wits then, and he I still one shot him. He didn't R. He griefed it. Wow. He didn't R. Because that would make his AD and AP turn into MR and armor. I thought he could win that. I thought he outscaled me by now. Triforce into this comp. It's not bad. Usually Divine Sundar outscales though. Or it does better. Not outscales. It just does better. Oh. Push top boys. Oh no. Look at me. I'm so cracked at these team fightings. And look at that. Got a juicy five man and then just like that again all games are winnable in this rank now we'll go to diamond one and master tier i'm out we are back in the diamond section except this this account as of right now is master tier so it's kind of clickbait but it's not at the same time <laughs> because it's just a better rank Oh, okay. We got flash for flash. We'll take it. This lane, we're playing against Yon, medium difficulty matchup. We win 1v1, but we get outscaled. They're heavy AD. Heavy AD indeed. Oh. I have someone blocked, which is why they were already muted. I wonder why I blocked Ribbon. Whatever. Hey, new game, new you, I guess. There you go. You're unmuted. Let's see what you have to say. What do you want? What? Uh, typically, past past mat or past diamond, in my opinion, that's when I unmute or I use chats because then they start to use chat to ping summoner spells, like actually time them, and that's helpful. I mean, until then, it's kind of useless. I mean, they sure do flame still. They still have ego but it's usually like one out of the four people so you could just mute one of them and it wouldn't be bad they got viego top yep no wonder why i blocked you this is what you do to me just kidding maybe maybe riven griefed me before i don't know <clears throat> i'm just playing for yon to shove me in since his levels one and two can be stronger than fizz when until level three a oh, nice gank top. It's going to really mess up your tempo though. Because now I'm pretty sure your bot side's probably gone. I f It's literally this company, man. It's Riot Games. That should have been a good trade. That's so bad. It's Riot Games actually brain dead company holy can i land an auto or is that too hard this isn't even efficient trading that messed me up it's on the wave bounce back here might be able to look for yeah trade here Let's see what this guy's doing like, that's such RNG. Actually, like, I'm so tilted off that. You serious? There we go. <sighs> nice. <sighs> it's literally... That was such RNG. But yeah, you just hit level 3 and then play off the wave bounce back. Ah, uh, it's doomed. Oh, I, could, I didn't have enough mana to queue to the minion. And now Master Yi freezes the lane. It's unfortunate. We could stack armor, but do we have... Uh, did Evelyn full clear bot side too? No. Yeah, he took uh, Evelyn's bot side. So unfortunate. That should have never happened. I swear, man. Programming is so terrible. The wave is slow pushing back to me. Master Yi flashed though. Care top side. 
So now Evelyn's clear. I think Master Yi hits level 4 before Evelyn. It was a nice gank top for the first blood. Snowball's our top laner. But it kind of messes up her clearing since she usually AFK farms till 6. Did uh, Yon recall? If so, I'll thin out the wave, hold it on my side, and then try to all in him again. He has flash, but no ignite, I'm pretty sure. Did I ping that? I should have. I didn't. <laughs> Master Yi's top side. That's doomed. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually... Nah. I'll hold the wave here. I have a level up on him, so I can fight him. Oh, he actually roamed. I'm so bad. Thought he recalled. I'll shove it then. Oh, he's got to get the front minions before you back. Reason being... Oh, <laughs> reason being is because front minions, melee minions give more uh, gold than the casters. It's a cannon wave. I'll shove in the cannon and then bet base afterwards. Uh, 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 uh. Don't know if I, I can't get the all in. Master Yi has W. Can I look for the stacked S diamond slash master tier? Uh, diamond onwards. It's all about game winning plays. The shoves and roams. The proactive plays. Like right now, most players, platinum below would just recall. I'm looking topside for the dive. You gotta make game winning plays. Let's ignore the shark. I think that's my bad, actually. Say like game winning plays, and I do that. He flashed. Whatever. And is such a region. Can't believe I. Can't believe I'm playing with these people. <laughs> can't believe I'm playing with these people. Uh, this game, I'm rushing Zonia's reason being is because they're heavy AD, and they auto a lot. So armor cloth is really good. Oh no. Master Yi, that's such a nice uh, W. Is that Yon? It's all about the game winning roams, game winning plays. It's all about playing as optimal as possible. You're no longer playing the game where it's based off of who messes up. It's the game off who makes the best creative plays to put their team ahead and snowball out of control. The roams, the counter jungles, all this stuff, the 2v2s, these are all the fights that determine who wins the game. It's no longer about, oh, I'm just going to AFK farm, farm back and forth, recall, passive game, we're going to be even in farm and CS notes. You're looking to cream them. Because the team who gets ahead first probably just wins the game, as we all know. Since closing the game out, Evelyn will perma be in Masuyu's jungle if I'm able to get ahead in Riven for bot lane and me. Because then our team will have Pryo. Like, just, oh man, that's risky. Just like that, I shove in the wave. Ugh, it's kind of odd. The reason being, I know Diego has no flash. But they're fighting bot lane. When Kais is not there, so I didn't really want to... Oh man, that's not good. I'm not playing for top side anymore, they're weak side. They're not win condition. Or, er, Riven's not win condition, no wonder I blocked this guy. Probably feeds than flames. Yeah, we win against the Yon lane. I don't know where they are, so I have to be a little bit careful. Let's see if we can look for the all in though. Yeah. Flash, we'll take it. Oh, he has uh, tier twos. If he, had, if he didn't have tier twos in fleet, we would have gotten the kill. So we're gonna wait for corrupting. Maybe Duran Ring give us some mana. Look to dive him. Slow push into dive. Oh, Master Yi is here. It's gonna cringe. Would have gotten the kill regardless uh, if he wasn't there. That was a nice E. Again, the players I'm playing with. In Diamond 1 slash Masters. 
I don't know if I... Who misplayed that? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Top lane's not win condition. We'll play for bot. So we'll just shove mid and then try to roam bot. Uh, uh, uh. Like, 1v1, we crush him. This is the late game. We're, after he gets a mortal shield bow, that's when he has the ability to win. That's uh, kind of tragic. CDR, come on, Riven. W, Q, on animation can Oh, no, you can't do all that good stuff. That's so grief. Yone roaming topside, it's fine. We can't dive bot. That's the sad part. Don't think we can. Are they gonna all in? Probably not. Because the wave is good mid. So I, I was looking for maybe a bot play. But they're just gonna shove and nothing's gonna happen. Wave is good. Don't really like holding freezes. I don't. Post six, Fizz is a shove and roam champion, not really a freeze farm till late game champion. So I'm gonna actually shove this. Yone loses out either way. Uh, did they switch? I don't care if they did. Not really. Viego. It's, I probably win easier. Look at your map, team. Holy. Free low. Snipe him. Snipe him. Damn. I thought Kaisa could snipe him. It's worth. It's worth. I guess shut down gold. Uh, we can take Dragger Rift. That's so worth. That play is massive. Playing off. They have a Fed Master Yi. We need Lockdown and CC, which we have Riven. Evelyn's not that um reliable. And we got Nautilus. So that's good. And I'm just going to play front to back. Yeah, this game I'll play front to back. This game, I feel like I could have went plated steel cap, but CDR, tier 2 boots just means so much early. Wave is shoving towards him. That's not bad. Again, I'm playing for roams. Oh. We took rift. Look to take mid, maybe? Actually, look to take mid. And then we'll just start AFK roaming bot. That's the plan. We might have to give drag here though. Because Evelyn's playing towards mid. Master Yi, yep. Takes drag. It's normal. We're getting a massive gold lead. Gonna push this. It's all about like ranks after like this. It's about um No, that's so bad. Uh, I can't even do anything from that. I don't think I can. Maybe I could look for it here. He queued my R. Wow, that's AIDS. <sighs> because, like, you have to know what to give and what to take. He's going Witsund. Which is smart. Three of us are AP. Kaisa does half AP. I'll hold corrupting. Uh, uh, uh. It's fine. For the shove, maybe Rome. Bot lane hasn't gotten their bot low enough for me to even look for the dive. God. What is this tower dive? Kaisa. Nautilus sweeps some wards. Are we still looking for it? Oh, Evelyn. 
I was expecting her to W, use her movement speed. To dodge my shark. But she doesn't. So we can just clean up a kill. I think it's worth. Because they lose a lot bot. Even if Yon takes tower, it's still worth. We're playing off bot side, not top. Down. It's rough. You need to take tower so badly. Take it if you want it. Evelyn, you're not useless. Mid goes bot. Fizz goes mid. I mean, bot goes mid. Mid goes bot since bot tower is taken. It's the mid game. Hopefully they can get control over places on the map. You guys are good. Nice kill. Saw this for this. And we got some mana to work with. If Jin wants to freeze the wave, we have full control over the map. Like, I mean, Master Yi's jungle. Evelyn can just fully commit to counter jungling and then we can always back him up. Because Jin will be isolated, so if there is a fight, I'll be able to take care of him. Questionable. Oh, that's, I mean, that's mid tower. Like, where's this dude? Might hit him with a Q shark since he has no, uh, it's the oldest trick in the book. Yeah, he's not going to fall for it. This guy's a professional, uh, uh it's, I think you guys win, hopefully. You guys are taking favorable fight. This guy's a professional diamond one player. He doesn't fall for things. Our one shot combo is worse though. Oh yeah, okay, that explains it. Seraphine is here. Oh, there's a shark. If we can go one for one. Bone plating? If I can go one for one, it's not the worst thing in the world since we're taking so much top. I know it's a support. I don't even think it's that bad. I'm just making the most out of what was given to me. Because I don't have my sums for next fight. So, my drag fight will be weaker. I'll have enough gold for Ludens. I think that's how it'll go. So, I'll have more item and more damage, but yet less utility. So, I don't know. I guess that's like an even trade. It's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Again, we're focusing Master Yi. It's the goal. Fight for it. Like, I'm not going to dive their back line. The goal is just to play front to back. Kill the Master Yi and then move on to their back line. And we might have to save our stuff just for Master Yi. Like, I might just throw my shark and then wait for... What's his face to go in? Because that's literally their win condition. Oh. Second drag is gone, but I don't mind too much. Ultim? That's so good. Nice. It's Rift. I think. Below Rift. Oh, wow. No mid tower, so it's free low. Slow from my E. Into Nautilus. Nice. Should be mid inhib, maybe? Probably. Nope, Evelyn's tanking. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Alright, guys, I think we might have to contest. The Baron is so low. Oh, oh nice. Alright. The thing is... Okay, now we can take Inhib. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Because, like... It's not 20 minutes, so we don't have... Uh... Yeah, okay. I think actually leaving Inhib is the best move there. We don't have Baron to contest. So there's no point in taking inhib here.
Let's see. Lich Bane being solid, I guess. Or we could do what Mango Fish does. Goes Death Cap. I'll go Lich Bane. It's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Ye can Baron fast. Okay. Take mid in it. I'll play for top shove and then we'll look for Baron. Usually we're on the same page when it comes to macro. At least in this rank. Everyone has solid fundamentals of how the game should go. In the mid to late game at least. It's not like... They understand the importance of being two objectives first. <laughs> Shoving out waves before taking objectives. But, I mean, there's still throws within that. Like someone getting caught. Alright, he's going top. Evelyn's bot doesn't make sense. That's what I'm talking about. See, there's like some weird stuff that happens. Go for it. I'm on it. Let me just shove in mids that way. They will want to... Uh, They'll want to clear mid before they go Baron. Yeah. We could take it. It's worth. They three man the Evelyn. I thought the Evelyn was in the wrong. Alright, back, back, back. Doomed. As long as two of us have Baron, we're chilling. Don't want to compensate and die for no reason. Evelyn have Baron? Nope. It's fine. We got two with Baron. We just need to focus the Master Yi and we're fine. Yeah, some anti-healing. It's not bad. Evelyn's looking for a pick. You do you. Um, take inhib. Riven took ignites. I mean, I don't mind, but she lost lane. Doomed. I guess will leave it. Oh man. Tilter. We can't fight that. Because Kais is farming bots. Oh. Bros. Zzz, actually. I have, to, I have to replay that. I wasn't paying attention to what Kaisa was doing. I don't want to shift blame onto her if I actually didn't know what she was doing. I, From what it looked like, as soon as I looked here, she was just at River. So, like, I, I don't know. Yi is dead, so it's fightable. Yeah, it's, it's doable. You gonna die from that? Nah. Okay. Front to back. Don't let Viego kill Kaisa. Nice. What? No, I'm, I'm looking at... Uh... I'm looking at how did Seraphine kill... You know. Kaisa. So confused on that. I get triumphed. I'm chilling. We could just E here and then we got to ace. Use the flash E combo. Um, I think we can get much. Get these camps. Shove in waves. That would have been a throw if we overstayed. Evelyn taking raptors. 
Right now you're taking that. I have blue buff. My shark's on a low cooldown anyways. It's to deny them farm. That's so risky, guys. We didn't even reset. But then again, some of them are topside. It's just risky. Could work, though. Oh, that's nice. Nice uh, gore drinker there. Buddy. Snare him up. Oh, nice kiting, Kaisa. Well played. Well, that seems doomed. You are dead, my friend. Unless I could be here to your rescue. There we go. You didn't. Pro you probably didn't need to look behind you, but you know. Let's go, Nautilus. On the hunt. I need a Q shark, and then we should be good. I can't. Hmm. I think everything's okay. Just like that, we just made a Yon go one in one in twelve. Oh, we might be able to actually do this though. Might take a risky shark. It's like, I mean, it's on a fifty-second cooldown, and Baron comes up by that time. It doesn't matter. Riven. Gotta push top side though. All right, I can't even push top side without these people fighting. But that's fine. I mean, if it's a good fight. It's barren. And then just <laughs> just focus Master Yi if he comes. In fact, it's probably better if I stay here. Or I look for a pick. It's good. So that way we take Baron and he can't contest. I just needed to get the CC off. And then now we maybe clean up. No shot. Front to back. Have to make sure Viego and Mashi don't clean us up. Hmm. I mean, it could work for them. But they slow off. I'm dead. But he focused me, dashing everything onto me and then uh, yeah he's dead and just like that that's the game master tier mmr like comment subscribe it's so really just knowing how to team fight advanced shoving roams contesting 2v2s all of that wins you games i'm out